Welcome into the Kansas City Chiefs Report. I am Harrison Graham, back with another video for you guys. we got some rumors, some mysterious injury news, and we'll dive into that Saints versus Chiefs matchup toward the end of the video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's try and figure out what the hell is going on with Tyree Kill because he popped on the injury report on Wednesday with a hamstring injury. That's what he was listed as. Now, he was still a full participant, so he was out there running around doing his normal thing, but this has kind of been one of those seesaw things where snip, snap, snip, snap. On Monday, they asked, what's going on in Tyree Kill? They, oh, he was just cramping in the Dolphins game. Like, he's fine. He's good to go. No issues there. Now, fast forward two days later on Wednesday, he's listed on the injury report with a hamstring injury. Again, he was a full participant, but something isn't right there. Now, I don't expect him to not be available on Sunday, but is he you know, 90% instead of 100%, that could be a possibility. I'm not overly concerned. I'm more just like, what is the process here? I'm a little bit confused by how this has been handled by Kansas City and if there is something that is lingering there because at times it does seem like on occasion, you know, he limps off to the sideline and then obviously he comes back into the game and gets a 50-yard touchdown or whatever. But still, it's just one of those mysterious things that I haven't quite figured out. We'll see what happens over the next couple of days if he's listed on the injury report. Now, will Tyree Kill play on Sunday? I certainly think so. So I'm going to type my Y for yes. Type in for no if you don't think he will. He was still a full participant. If he was limited, I'd be like, okay, this is really a head scratcher at this point. But with him being a full participant at practice, I think he'll be out there. We'll make this the pinned comment on today's video. So go ahead and let us know Y for yes or in for no. Obviously, Tyree Kill is a big part of this offense for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's been probably the best receiver in the National Football League. The only uh, two players uh, ahead of him in receiving yards, one of them plays on his team, and that is, of course, Travis Kelsey and then DK Metcalf as well. But you need him out there. Obviously, look, if he does have a hamstring issue, it might be, it would maybe be smart to sit him for a game. But the Saints is the biggest game remaining on the Chiefs' schedule. If you can get through this game, Got a good chance of getting that number one seed. We'll take a look at the playoff picture later on. But I think Tyreek Hill will be out there, not overly concerned, just more puzzled by how this is playing out over the last three or four days. All right, Chiefs fans, do me a favor and share this video on social media. I want to get more Chiefs subscribers. I want to get more uh, Chiefs Kingdom members watching our videos and joining the movement here on the Chiefs Report. We crossed 11,000 subs recently. So share this video on your Twitter page, your Facebook. I can show you guys how to do that. All you got to do is click the share button under the video, click the Twitter icon, and then click tweet. That's how you do it on Twitter. Same process on Facebook. Uh, share button, Facebook icon, and then click post to Facebook. Just trying to get more fans uh, interacting on the show. That way when we have live watch parties and stuff like that, we get more people in, and you guys can have fun in the comments and in the live chat as well. So share this video, do me a favor, that would be a big, big help here on today's show. All right, more injury st stuff. Andy Reid talked about Mitchell Schwartz recently, and I got to say, I've got concerns, and I've had concerns, but I'm starting to think that Schwartz may not be back. Here was the quote from Reid on this one uh, when they asked him about him, because he is eligible to return from IR, saying he's a good communicator, so he keeps that open with the trainers and doctors, so I think that's the most important thing right now. Then when he's right, then we'll get, we'll get him back out there. But until then, we're not going to rush him back if he can't go, and that's why we expect the next guy to step in and play. Does that sound like a guy who thinks he's going to have his all-pro right tackle back anytime soon? Not to me that it's the classic he's day-to-day, -day, but then two months go by and he's still day-to-day -day and you don't really know what's going to happen. I don't think he's going to return, or at least I think there's a good chance he won't return. I'm not rolling it out. I'm not saying we may not see Schwartz back at some point, but he's definitely not returning this week unless something drastic happens. He hasn't been out there at practice, so you're just going to have to roll with what you got, which the good news is is the Chiefs have been doing this since week seven. They've been without Mitchell Schwartz since the Buffalo game in week six. They've moved some stuff around. They've tried both centers. Remmers has done a decent job at right tackle. We know this O-line has some issues, but luckily you have a superstar quarterback and electric wide receivers that you can make up for that. The run game, yeah, it's just not going to be a major part of things moving forward, at least for 2020. Hopefully he gets right soon. I mean, we were talking about it. He allowed two sacks through six games. We we're like, what's up with Mitchell Schwartz? Well, maybe he's had a back issue all along. Get back injuries on the wrong side of 30. That's a big red flag moving forward. The safe and the smart long-term play might just be him not returning in 2020 at all. We'll have to wait and see what happens. 
So how concerned are you with Schwartz's back injury? Scale it from 1 to 10. 10 being very concerned, like you don't think he's going to come back. 1 being, ah, I'm sure he'll be fine. They're just resting him for the playoffs. I'm at a 9 or 10. I think there's a pretty reasonable chance and reason to think that Schwartz may not play again this year. I'm going to go 10 here. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Now, BetUS is the sports betting partner here on the Chiefs Report, and we got a perfect promo code for you guys, Chiefs125. When you go to chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet, get that 125% deposit bonus by plugging in that promo, Chiefs125. I, look, the Chiefs against the spread have been a mess recently. Producer Brett's like, I'm done with them. Can't bet on the Chiefs against the spread. I'm going to stick to the money line. Minus three, though, this week. I kind of like the odds. It might be reeling producer Brett back in. That's why these betting companies make the money that they do. Three-point favorites on the road. Keep in mind, you, you know, you're thinking, oh, at the Saints, they're great at home. It's not like they're going to have 100,000 in there like they normally would or 60,000, however big that old dome is. It's uh, kind of an older stadium. I like the Chiefs minus three, three. I'm tripling down. I think they win this week. If you like those odds or if you want to bet on some other games, again, BetUS, chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Use that promo code Chiefs125. By the way, I do like the under this week. I'll give my official prediction later on. Breeze not playing. I don't think he's going, guys. The way Sean Payton's talking, even Breeze is saying, yeah, I'm feeling better, but eh, it's not uh, not quite where it needs to be. Uh, Payton said he's got a ways to go still. Look for Taysom Hill to make his fifth straight start and to be the quarterback against Kansas City. Here's what Drew Breeze had to say. Obviously, I have a plan in place as to the benchmarks that I need to hit in order to get where I know I can play and play effectively for this football team. And all I can say is I'm close. There's a recovery element. There's a strength element, and I'll know when that time comes. That doesn't sound like a guy who's going to play in 72 hours, but obviously we'll wait and see once kickoff arrives. I think Taysom Hill's the guy, and he's done an admirable job, right? Like, they're not asking him to throw it a bunch, but he's been efficient. Four touchdowns, two picks, quarterback rating just under 100 there. He's been pretty effective. We know he's a good runner, uh, about five and a half yards of carry there, four rushing touchdowns in these four starts since he's taken over as the starter for the injured Drew Brees. I think Taysom Hill, in a lot of ways, could be more dangerous in, in a game like this because the Chiefs' corners struggle vertically down the field. We know a banged-up Drew Brees ain't, ain't challenging uh, Charvarius Ward and Bashad Breeland 50 yards downfield. He wasn't doing that before the injury. Not saying Taysom Hill's going to start slinging it everywhere, but he's a wild-card quarterback who can start running around and make things happen. So uh, I would actually be in favor of maybe seeing Drew Brees this week, but I don't think it's going to happen. Look for Taysom Hill to start on Sunday. Get subscribed to the Chiefs Report here on YouTube. We crossed 11,000 subs recently. Next milestone is 12,000. We got the latest Chiefs rumors, news, mailbags, and more. By the way, mailbag very soon. Use hashtag Chiefs in the comments if you want to be a part of that. Hit that big red button. Let's get to 12,000 subs as soon as possible. So let's take a look at this matchup uh, a little bit more here. Chiefs 12-1, and one, Saints 10-3. and three. Big game for both, right? Because Kansas City is up a game on Pittsburgh in the, uh, uh, for that number one seed in the AFC. New Orleans tied with the Packers for the number one seed in the NFC, but Green Bay has the tiebreaker. So they really need this game to kind of keep pace with Green Bay uh, in the NFC. So you know they're going to give it everything they've got trying to get that number one seed in first round bye. It's going to be an interesting game. I don't know what to expect from Taysom Hill, who I, again, think will be the quarterback in this game. He's got enough tape out there at this point that I think the Chiefs will have a good game plan. But we'll see what happens. I think uh, Kansas City should get this thing done. Before I get my score prediction in, I want your score prediction in. And, again, you can bet on this one at BetUS. Let me know who you got. Kansas City, New Orleans, get your predictions in for this game. I told you guys I like the under but just barely the under. I like the Chiefs 27 to 23. The Chiefs, they have trouble putting teams away, right? Like they let them hang around or they, they get a comfortable lead and then the team comes back. I think Kansas City wins it, but this feels like one of those games where they just can't quite extend and put it completely away. Chiefs by four, I think they cover, and I think the under hits on this one. So keep that in mind if you want to bet on this game. And you look at the playoff picture for Kansas City, really good spot, right? You beat, you beat New Orleans this week you're getting that number one seed. Pittsburgh's fading. You've got the head-to-head -head over Buffalo there. So if you uh, get to 13 wins, they're no longer a factor at that point. I think a win on Sunday 
in a lot of ways, pretty much locks up the number one seed. Uh, not literally, but look at the remaining schedule. You would have to lose your final two, essentially. You're not losing to Atlanta and L.A. In a perfect world, you beat the Saints and Falcons, then you can rest your starters in Week 17, which is very much a possibility if they can beat New Orleans on Sunday. So I think we'll get a focused Chiefs team. Again, I think they get it done. Now, we'll leave you with this question. Will the Chiefs get the number one seed in the AFC? Type one for yes, type two for no. You guys know my answer. I think uh, I think it's a done deal. I think they pretty much clinch it here on Sunday. Can't technically, but uh, yeah, I think Kansas City will win this game So and get that number one seed. One for yes, two for no. We'll see you guys very, very soon. Uh, game coverage on Sunday should be a good one.